In this series, I tried out seven different gaming distros. I tried Playtron OS, Regatta OS, Bazite, Pika OS, Garuda Linux, Nabara Linux, and this one, the final one, Steam OS. So if you're interested in any other of the distros listed, feel free to go and check out the other videos on them. But today we're focusing in on the one that started it all for me, and that is Steam OS. Anyway, let's get on with it. So there's two parts to this one. First one is gonna quickly show you how to get it onto a USB stick, because it's a little bit different for this one. So I thought I'd share that with you, and then we'll get on and uh, go through the usual process of installing it. So first off, go over to steampower.com forward slash Steam OS scroll down to general FAQ click the instructions here and then you'll see SteamOS installation and repair if you scroll down you can see there's two things you need to worry about here one is getting the actual image and two is this command here and we'll come back to that so I'm just gonna click on that do it whilst that's downloading I would suggest you open up your favorite notepad and do two things firstly open up console and then just type L S B L K dash o name and model and that'll give you the name and model of all of your devices we drives and as you can see there the one that i'm interested in is called data traveler 3.0 make sure it's formatted you'll have a lot easier time if it's for already formatted and it's called sda so i need to remember that it's called sda uh, because this here is the name of the file and then this here is the drive so basically yeah, make sure those two things are correct. I'm just going to go into downloads. I want to check the file name first. Let's just do that. Has it finished yet? So we'll go to downloads, uh, scroll down, and you can see it's just there. I'm just going to make sure that the actual file name is correct in the command, which is over here. So let's make sure that's correct. Yeah, that seems to be correct. And I'm just going to go copy from within the directory that the archive file is. Just paste that on there. It wants my password. And let's go a few moments later right okay so that's done so there we go brilliant let's get on with the install so the footage that you're looking at now is me going through the whole process of installing steam os from a usb and as i went along on that journey i realized that you have to install it onto an nvme and i do vaguely remember reading that somewhere in the past when i went through this in the the first time I did it. So I had to make a decision. I have two NVMEs and an SSD. All of the series so far has been done on SSD. I have one NVMe that has my Windows debloated build on it, and I have another NVMe which has my Fedora second build on it, my sort of test build. And that's Fedora 43, and that was a clean 43 install. Now I think my SN850X is my Windows build. And I will find out soon enough when I go and try to boot into Fedora at any point. But I thought, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna go for it. So top tip, make sure that you have an NVMe drive in your destination PC and make sure there's only one in there <laughs> uh, and be prepared to overwrite whatever is on it. Right, let's get on with it. So I've gone through the install process on the USB and we're now at a point where we need to reboot. There we go, we're all caught up now, so let's just do it. Uh, save and exit and go. So now it should just boot into Steam OS. Yay, let's go. Right, language, English. We've got a mouse? Yes, we have English. We want to scroll all the way down to GMT. We're gonna do wired connection. This update may take some time to download and apply. Your battery is low. <laughs> Please keep your device plugged in. No idea what's going on. Everything's gone blank on my monitor. It's not sending the signal to my capture card. So I'm gonna try and be patient. There we go. Right, let me do the sign in thing. Now, obviously, the very first video I did in the series was Playtron and everybody lost their shit because you have to log in. Now I know it's different because Steam is Steam and highly trusted. Ta-da! Right, so this is very much obviously designed for you having the Steam Deck in your hand 
have fun, yay. I should use my controller, shouldn't I? Wait a sec, we're done. <laughs> That's it, we're done. Hey God, bear with me, I'll grab a controller. And that just works, look at that. Okay, so we had a little bit of a hiccup, but it was more of a case of forgetting, not realizing that actually, yeah, it forces you to use an NVMe. And I think it's whatever is in the main NVMe slot. I think. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install Starfire because that is the uh, game that we've been using throughout the series. And somebody said in the comments that they disliked because I'm using the same game every time. And that's kind of the whole point is to keep that consistency throughout everything. And um, yeah, so sorry about that. But uh, if you want uh, game performance benchmarks and testing, then this is not the channel for you. I mean, it might be something I do in the future. But as of right now, this is just about my journey across the different gaming distros. So I want to keep it as consistent as possible for my own mentality. Okay, so that should be coming through there. I hope that's the case. It would be great if we solved it on the very last video, wouldn't it? Right, let's go. Body enhance. Oh, you got me. I played it for a while. So there we go. We're going to exit out of that one. Turn to home page. And then we're just going to go and do a little bit of exploration on the desktop. I think I would probably try and work out how to make it so it launches into desktop mode. I'm pretty sure there's a straightforward command for it. I did do it before, but I can't remember how I did it. I probably Googled it. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that was the final distro in the gaming series. And yeah, I think I'm going to do another video, which is going to kind of summarize my thoughts around the whole gaming distros thing and what I think. Has any of them made me think, oh my God, I need to, I need to use this uh, distro. Let's replace Fedora with uh, this distro. And no, the answer is no at the moment. I've not seen anything on my journey through all of these distros that have led me to believe I should be switching. If you've made it this far, I think you probably know what to do now. But if you're new here, please, please, please put a comment down below or just an emoji for the sake of engagement. It really, really does help the channel grow. Thank you so much for watching. You guys take care and I'll catch you in the next one.